Mark Counterman has asked, I've heard over the years about wrestlers that had issues with doing their laundry regularly, brackets, Vader. So my question is, who had the worst hygiene that Dutch had to work uh, with or heard stories about? And Will Huff from Richmond, Kentucky says, love the podcast. I'll listen to it as soon as I get home from work. My question is back in the 70s and 80s, how often did Dutch and other wrestlers that he knew <laughs> of get to wash their wrestling tights throughout the week being on the road? Were there some wrestlers that you could tell never washed them and made it hard to work with because they smelled so bad? So stinky wrestlers and laundry and hygiene. Oh. Very, very important. Vader's stunk to high heaven. What stunk, not what necessarily him so much, but was his outfit. Because he didn't wash it out. Even, even when I was on the road and say it was a hot, steamy night and your outfit was, I mean, soaked. Sucked with sweat and perspiration. You had to wash it out. Because if you didn't, you couldn't even get in it yourself. Because you can't hang it up in an air-conditioned room. It's going to dry a little bit, but it's not going to dry completely. So I would wash, wash my stuff out on the road if I didn't have a chance to do it anywhere else. And then I would, I would dry it, hang it up, be able to dry somewhat. And then, you know, I'd just leave it out to, you know, to match time. So it would, it would dry up. If you lock up with the guy, he went, oh my God. I mean, I've done that before. And not only, not only some of these guys, they had a stinky body. That was horrible. So, but we would tell them, take a shower you nasty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> we were as nice with it as we could be. But when enough guy said, you need to take a shower, we would, we would a dressing room shame them enough to where they would go and take a shower and start cleaning their stuff up. Uh, and what you had to watch for was like knee pads. They take longer to dry. You had to wash your knee pads out too. Because when you start sweating on these big, hot summer nights down south, open, open air building, not all these buildings were air conditioned, folks. We had a lot of open air. So if it's 90 degrees outside, it's about 100 inside the building. So, and you know, when the people are sitting out there wiping sweat off, you know what you're going to be doing. You're going to be wiping it too. Uh, how many outfits did you take with you on a particular loop? So a week's I'll worth. I would take two. I would take two because I'm not necessarily the, the cleaning. I would take two in case the other one got torn. See, if I only had one, one got torn, I didn't have nothing to wear. I'd have to wear blue jeans in there. But, and that wouldn't have, well, it would have worked because I didn't have anything else. But, but I, I would take two. I take a, and I only wore like, I only wore three basic colors. I, I wore black or blue or red, mostly blue, or red, and black. So that's what I ended up taking. And if we're going to have a hall of shame of smelliest wrestlers, Vader apparently is going to be one of them. Uh, who makes it into that uh, list? Well, I, I can't, I can't remember, but there, there was a few, but not too bad. I, I think most of them, that I ran across, I didn't run across them, but one time and then they were shamed into taking a shower. So if somebody did stink, I think somebody else would start shaming them and they would take a shower before I got to them um, farther on down the loop. 